This video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. All right, we got a little two-ton carrier from 1999. The contactor is depressed. Let's see what we can come up with. Okay, we're getting power on the line side. And we're also getting power on the low side. So we'll check the capacitor. All right, we got the disconnect pulled now. So let's check, double check our power. Dead, each leg to ground is dead. Okay, so we shouldn't get shocked. They uh, got a nice capacitor in the box here. No. It's a 30 slash 5. That's common to Herm. We have nothing. And then common to Fan. We have nothing. So we got one dead capacitor. All right, I didn't have a 30 slash 5 on the truck. I must have used my last one. So I had to go pick one up. And the closest supplier to me was the Armstrong store. And they quit handling Mars. It's actually the uh, old Yark store where I used to buy, me and dad used to buy our Yark equipment. And they got rid of Mars capacitors to start carrying the Titan HD American made capacitors and they're priced the same. So this is a Titan HD 30 plus five American. And the other guys left their capacitor in the box when the original bracket and screw was sitting, they left that in here. So we're gonna use that bracket and mount it the right way. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is check it. Common the Hermetic. Twenty nine point eight three. Top of the fan, five point zero two. This, uh, some of these brackets only use one screw, like on the ICP, but this one actually takes two. But it's only, 
just only got one. And, uh, but I'm gonna put another one. This is our Hermetic. They're using this blue wire for the uh, jumper off the contactor, the Power Common, which is fine. The other one must have burned off in the past. And then we have another, we have a yellow here coming from the outdoor fan motor that is also a Common. And then we have a brown, which is our start for the fan. There we go. Okay, there it is. I'll tidy that up with some zip ties. And you can see the size through the bracket. So I'm gonna clean this up with some zip ties and then we'll start it up and then just throw the quick gauge on there and uh, make sure it's not low on gas. All right, I got everything cleaned up, even down here. Let's see if she'll start. There we go. Compressor and fan. Let's see if, yeah, this will fit right here. Perfect. Just to cover that up, I'll we'll put our quick gauge on there. Quick suction gauge on here. <laughs> That's all right. Here's a good way to store these in your bag. You just buy a quarter by quarter mail, mail on both ends, and it makes it easy to store. Ooh, I need to, I need to fix that real quick. It's a little over 80 on five on suction, but it is hot as hell in that building. And I've got the door on right here, so well, the, the electrical cover right here, so the outdoor fan's not, you know, bypassing the coil. That's just temporary for me to check this, and then I'll button everything up. Oh yeah, she's pulling heat. Yeah, this thing's cooling fine. All right, gentlemen. Well, we straightened up the carrier because it was sitting all down the hill and turned to the side and that was driving my OCD crazy. So we pushed it back, uh, kind of, you know, and straightened it up the best we could. So that looks a lot better to me because I just, I don't know, I'm OCD about that kind of stuff. But the little carrier is running and cooling. You can feel the difference already. Little restaurant here in Scott, Louisiana.
Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see y'all on the next one.